Joshua is there at the White House. We'll call Hassan is a specialist on the Middle East from the Carnegie Middle East Center. And he was. He's in Amsterdam. Now, thanks for your time. Well, what do you make of the current situation with the jihadists who call themselves Islamic State? Thank you very much for having me. Well, I think the blitzkriegs, that is how I would call it, it's really a blitzkrieg what uh, IS has done in Ramadi and Palmyra. I mean, it's unbelievable that they have managed to capture two cities in two countries in a matter of four days. And in my view, this is a, a strategic blow, a big blow to U.S. strategy to degrade and defeat IS. Um, um, I mean, the advances show that IS has a strategic planning, has a vision, and on the other hand, it shows that the anti-IS forces, U.S., uh, um, uh, uh, Syrian, Iraqi um, forces, have no strategic vision, has no planning, and um, and that, um, um, I mean, the sheer savagery and terror uh, of, of IS has managed really to, um, um, uh, to make these advances against all odds. So what do you think Iraq, Syria, and the U.S. can do to change this situation? Right. Well, I think uh, what they can do is that, uh, on the one hand, uh, in the case of Syria, they, uh, I mean, the U.S. And, and other countries in the region, they should empower the moderate armed forces and the Kurdish forces to take on both the regime and, and, and the IS and other radical groups. And on the other hand, what is needed in the case of Syria is an um, ultimately, a grand geopolitical bargain between uh, uh, the influential players regionally and internationally to put the uh, Syrian regime and opposition uh, on, uh, to put pressure on them and to finally agree on a sustainable political solution. But that, I mean, uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Where next do you think uh, for Islamic State? How great is the threat, for instance, to Baghdad? How great is the threat to the regime in Damascus? Right. Well, I don't think the great to Baghdad is, is imminent. Uh, I mean, uh, Baghdad is quite uh, uh, protected by the Iraqi army and, and Shia militias. But I think IS, what IS wants uh, is, is a, a war of attrition towards Baghdad and other cities uh, south of Baghdad. Uh, for the time being, IS would fortify its positions in, in, in Ramadi, and I think any counteroffensive in Ramadi would be really bloody and, 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 and long. Now, in the case of Syria, I think IS will, um, uh, uh, IS's aim is first and foremost to, um, uh, to connect Palmyra with Anbar in Iraq. That would give it an added, a strategic added value to fortify its positions, and at the same time, I would not be surprised if IS would start destroying some of the um, uh, heritages in Palmyra to uh, send their brutal message to the world, which is, we are here to re rewrite history, and this will start with destruction of all pre-Islamic history. Kawa Hassan, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.